Well, hello there. Welcome to Live with Lynn. Um, today, I want to talk about how to focus on gratitude for more happiness. You know, I'm a firm believer in the universe and the law of attraction, and I really believe that what you give out is what comes back to you. I mean, we all generate energy. We're all energy. Everything, all of our people and, and things and, you know, the whole world is energy. And if what, what you put out there is what comes back to you. It's just the energy just reacts to each other. It's like a cause and effect. And, and so I just really believe in gratitude. I believe that gratitude can make such a difference in your life. I mean, you know, even if you're having a bad day and things aren't going well, if you change your mind, you change your focus to be on gratitude rather than on what's not going well, you'd be surprised at how quickly things turn around. I mean, it's funny. You know, I can wake up in the morning – and I don't know, it's like I got out of the wrong side of the bed, you know, I stubbed my toe and then I go into the shower and then something happens and the shower runs cold and, and it's like self-perpetuating, you know, it just gets worse every every minute. And then you get out to the car and the tire's flat and I don't, it, I don't know what it is. It's like we bring it on ourselves because the first thing that happened was we stubbed our toe or whatever. And so we're just self-perpetuating that things going wrong the rest of the day. And I know you know what I'm talking about because we've all done it, but it's like a cycle. But if you can just stop that cycle and turn it around, you would be amazed at what a difference it could make. If you would stop everything and just practice gratitude, because gratitude just brings all, it's all good energy. Gratitude is amazing energy. And there's so much to be grateful for every minute, every day. So if you just practice gratitude, I mean, literally stop and say, hey, things aren't going well today. Stop this. Let's change this around. What am I grateful for? And start thinking about what you're grateful for. It can make such a difference in your day. So let's talk about some ways about how to how to find gratitude, how to focus on it when you're struggling. Okay. So one of the, one of the, um, if you have time, one of the best ways for me is to send a card. You know, I have an online card service that I use, um, used to be send out cards, but now I use Pixingo where you go online and you create your own card and you, um, you can put images in and all that. And when you're creating a card for somebody telling you that you appreciate them, telling them how much you love them and finding the right picture to put in there, it's almost impossible for you to not feel gratitude because you're doing something and you're thinking about all your memories of your, of your times that you've had together and all that. And so sending a card is a great way to practice gratitude. Or just make it a point to appreciate the people in your life. You know, maybe stop by their Facebook page and say something like, hey, I was thinking about you. Um, just want you to know I appreciate you or, or, you know, that you're grateful. Maybe just leaving a note or a text for somebody saying how grateful you are for all the things they do for you. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do that way. And that takes a little less time. Or even if you don't have any time, you're just literally in a situation where you need to turn things around, then stop and thank someone mentally. Like, you know, who can you think about that might have done something nice for you recently? Thank them and feel the gratitude. Just even amongst yourself. You don't even have to tell them. Um, another thing you can do, keep a gratitude journal. That kind of keeps you on going into gratitude is, you know, make a, make a daily entry into your journal about what you're grateful for that day. And, and that kind of changes your focus. So you start focusing on things that are more um, what you're grateful for. Um, how about practicing present moments, present moment awareness? So, you know, like, um, we all are we all are like constantly worried about what's going to happen when we get here or what's going to happen tomorrow or we have an appointment here or we're doing this then and 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 very very rarely are we ever in the actual present moment right i mean i'm guilty of this and so just kind of keep trying to pull yourself back to that what's happening to me right now what what is happening in this moment that I can appreciate or even that I can just enjoy this moment that I'm in instead of constantly worrying about what's going to happen and what already happened and all that. The present moment is pretty huge. Um, think, think bigger than yourself. You know, um, maybe get involved in a cause that's important to you. Um, for me, I love the breast cancer cause. I love, I love the fact that Avon is behind the breast cancer cause, which makes it easier for me to get behind it because they give me tools and stuff to help me do that. But then I, I get involved in that and I know that I'm doing good for other people. And so maybe there's something that you might like, you know, maybe it's the local, um, dog pound or the, or the, you know, um, 
I don't know, homeless or there's all different kinds of people that you can get involved in a cause that's important to you, whatever that cause is. Um, Replace your complaints with gratitude. So when you focus on what you believe you're lacking, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, this piece of crap car, it's it's not doing well. Well, um, that that puts you down the wrong path, right? But what if you can turn that around and say, yeah, it's a piece of crap car, but it gets me to where I'm going, right? You know, think about um, anything that you're complaining about. Think about just turn it around. How can how? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to not like that card. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you have to be Miss Wonderful, Miss Mary Happy all the time. But it's okay to not like that card. But, you know, if you instead can, can – it's because it's all about what you're feeling inside. And what you're feeling inside is what's going to make a difference in your life. So you're doing this for you, right? So instead of com um, focusing all the time on the piece of crap car you got or the ugly paint job or whatever it is – Maybe focus instead on how it gets you to work or how it gets you to where you need to go and you don't have to take the bus. And how grateful are you that you don't have to take the bus or you don't have to walk or whatever it is, right? Or your house your house isn't bigger or you don't have the money you want. Okay, well, how grateful are you that you at least have enough money to make it and you're surviving and you're working on doing better, right? Um and then challenges. It's hard to find gratitude when you're in challenges. When things aren't going right, and you're, you know, it's it's easy to say I'm I'm really grateful for the positive experiences. But sometimes we have negative or really difficult situations. Um, you know, my mom just died, and that sucked. I mean, we sat by her bed for four days and watched her die. That was hard. <clears throat> Sorry, that was hard. That was hard, but there doesn't mean that I couldn't feel grateful for the fact that I was able to be there with her or that I'm grateful for the fact that it actually brought me and my brother and sister closer together or that my, my mom's twin sister could be there with her when, um, when she passed. That was just, I mean, so there was so many things to be grateful for. Yes, she died. Yeah, that sucks, you know, and, and it was horrible. It was horrible, but there's good things that happened, too. And um, there was lots of things that day to be grateful for. There really was. And the fact is, whether I like it or not, we're all going to die, right? Every one of us. And there's nothing we can do about that. So, again, why not focus on the good things? Why not try at least and appreciate the time you have and the moments you have? Being able to be there when my mom took her last breath, all of us as a family, literally holding on to her and, and – um, and playing her favorite hymns. I mean, none of us are into hymns, but we were playing them for my mom because we understood that she could probably hear. And we were playing her favorite hymns and we were talking her through it and we were holding her. And, you know, that's something I will have with me for the rest of my life. So that's something I can be grateful for. But anyway, sorry, sorry to get off on that. But uh, <laughs> so meditation, meditation is great too. It's another way to feel gratitude, right? I mean, a lot of times when people meditate, they'll take a word like, um, I don't know, a word like um, peace or love that they'll kind of focus on in order to meditate and try to eliminate all the thoughts from their mind. But you can also med meditate and focus on what you're grateful for. Again, doing the same thing, you know, like just pick something that you're grateful for the warmth of the sun or, or you're grateful for a sound, a favorite sound, you know, a sound that you like, I don't know, like the, um, when you're up in the canyons and you hear the creek and the birds, right? If you could focus on something like that, then you're turning meditation into a way to feel the gratitude. So anyway, um, those are my ideas. What ideas do you have and what are you grateful for today? I would love to hear what you're grateful for today and what you do to help find gratitude when times are not so easy to find gratitude. So get down below and tell me. I would love to hear it, okay? Anyway, thanks for being with me today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.